Good morning students, Sairam. Today we will start with the first session of online computer class. We shall learn about HTML. Let us see the introduction to it. HTML is the bedrock of the programming world. It is highly important for any language in the web. HTML was invented in November 1990 by a scientist called Tim Berners-Lee. The purpose was to make it easier for scientists to gain access to each other's research document. So children, let us learn about what is HTML. HTML is hypertext markup language. What does this mean? Hypertext refers to links that connect web pages to one another. Markup refers to symbols or codes inserted into a file for display on the internet. So it means it is made up of markup tags. So HTML is a document that contains text similar to Microsoft Word, Notepad and it is very easy to read. So children, what does the browsers do? Web browsers read and display documents that contains HTML. So browsers like Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer all do the same thing. They take the document and display it to the user. Now students, let us learn about the tags. HTML is all about tags. What is a tag? A tag is a special word enclosed in angle brackets. A tag tells the browser to perform an action as asked by the special word. The special word may be written either in lowercase or uppercase. The browser will respond to both the cases equally. Look at this example. This is a body tag with two angle brackets. This is a start tag. Can also be called opening tag. So this by itself is a tag. Now look at the next tag. See the difference between the previous tag and this tag. This tag begins with forward slash. So children, this is an end tag or also called as closing tag which is identified by a forward slash. So we have a start tag and an end tag. Body tag is just an example. But there are few tags where you don't need to have an end tag. These are all called empty element. So if you look at this BR tag which stands for a line break, this does not have an end tag because while displaying in the browser, the text following the tag will be moved to next line. So tags like BR tag does not have an end tag. They are called empty elements. What is needed to write these tags? Students, we just need a notepad editor as HTML is a document. It is simply a text file. So all you need is just a notepad. Students, till now what we have learnt is what is HTML and what is a tag. Further, let us have a look at the HTML document structure. HTML is the root tag. This is what you learn first when you write your document. So HTML tag has an opening tag and a closing tag as they come in pairs. Head tag is the second element. Head tag represents information about your web page like title. 
title does not go on your web page it goes on your browser so on the top of your browser you see the title for example the title can be my first HTML next element is body tag everything you want to display that is the content of your web page should be in the body tag again this also comes with an opening tag and a closing tag so where will the content of web page come the content will come in the body tag this content of your web page can be in the form of a paragraph so students p represents paragraph which will be written as p in angular brackets remember before we end the coding we have to close the body tag and the html tag so children these are the basic tags of the html structure first tag is html tag second is head tag inside the head tag is title tag then body tag inside the body tag is paragraph tag then end the body tag and the html tag so all tags have a start tag and an end tag always remember that the end tag should have an forward slash children now we will learn how and where to save the html document so students once your document is ready the next what you need to do is create a folder on the desktop and rename it as 9 at first click on file menu from notepad editor select save as option save the file in the folder created and name it as program1 and give an extension to the file the extension will be .html now your html document is saved in 9 folder this is an example of heading tag let us see how it looks like students remember that any coding of html starts with a html tag then the head tag title tag then body tag in the body tag you can write different sizes of your headings html also has six levels of headings which use the elements h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 once you are done with the different levels of headings first close the heading tag then the body tag and the html tag now let us see how to create a folder in the desktop to save our html documents now we will write the same program in the notepad and execute in the browser start on click on start button type notepad in search box then click on notepad a new window will open maximize it then click on format select font style on font size appropriately now let us write the code the first element is html tag then comes head tag and title tag in the title you can name the title as different levels of heading close the title tag with forward slash close the head tag next is body tag here you will be writing different levels of heading tags that is h1 this is heading 1 close the h1 tag then comes h2 this is heading 2 close the h2 tag then h3 tag this is heading 3 close the h3 tag remember the close 
remember to close the tag with forward slash. Likewise, H4, this is heading 4, close the H4 tag with forward slash. Then H5 tag, this is heading 5, close the H5 tag. And lastly, H6. This is heading 6, close the H6 tag. Now close the body tag and HTML tag. Now we need to save the file. Click on file, save the file. Click on file, select save as option, give the name as program1.html. Click the desktop, select the folder you have created and click on OK. Now minimize the notepad. Go to the folder, double click on the folder, double click on the file, you will see the output on the browser. This is just one example. We shall see more such examples in our next session. Before we end this session, let us revise what we have learned today. We have learned what is HTML, its structure, the basic tags and its execution. In our next session, we shall learn some more tags and programs. Until then, stay home, stay safe.